Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, check in with you, see how you all are doing. I promised my church family that I would uh, try and give them some encouragement from the Word this evening. Uh, we had planned on doing that last night at our normal uh, gathering time. Uh, we normally meet together on Sunday evenings at 6 o'clock for church, but uh, like many of you, uh, we had a power outage yesterday. Uh, so I trust you had a, a good Lord's Day, uh, and um, I want to take this opportunity once again just to say thank you to um, to my church family and to all of those who have helped make the recordings possible. Uh, I see some people popping in, hopefully more uh, over time. So hi, hi Jerry, hi Tracy, uh, and uh, I'm going to ask maybe for some feedback here uh, in a little bit from you. We're going to try some something different tonight, and um, but very thankful for our media team and uh, our worship team for, for coming in and making the recording possible. And so I know that these have been unusual days, hard days, but uh, even in the midst of that, we can find so much to be thankful for. Uh, and uh, yesterday for us was uh, an interesting day. It was my wife's birthday. Uh, so we got up yesterday morning, Lord's Day morning, and worshiped together as a family, and I was greatly encouraged by many of you. Uh, wow, lots of you jumping in. Hi, Alex. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Sherry. Uh, it's good to see all of you, uh, at least here, <laughs> know that you're here and know that you're watching. Um, but uh, we worshiped the Lord together yesterday morning, and, um, you know, Following that, we spent some time together as a family to celebrate my wife's birthday. Uh, had a good day. We were outside uh, just enjoying the beautiful weather and uh, came in for a drink. And as we came in, we found out the power was out. I didn't realize at that time how many people were affected by the power outage. Uh, but uh, it uh, turned, uh, yeah, thankfully, the weather was uh, beautiful. So we spent most of the day just enjoying the outdoors. Uh, did a little <laughs> visit to our mother-in-law who had a birthday today and just uh, we kind of drove by stayed in the driveway dropped off some things and uh, did a um, proper social distancing visit and uh, so happy birthday to my wife and my mother-in-law uh, but i see many more of you coming in there so hi carrie hi wilma it's so good uh, to know that uh, you guys are there uh, it has been a great encouragement to my heart yesterday to hear from so many of you who were able to tune in and uh, take part in the service. Uh, so uh, what I wanted to do uh, just for a few minutes uh, is, is uh, I'm going to read a passage of scripture. Uh, and the way the day went yesterday, the power outage was about eight hours uh, for us. And I know that was true for many of you. And we had got word that... Um, that could possibly go over a 24-hour period. Uh, we started uh, being concerned about our stocked refrigerator and the food that was in there. And uh, so about uh, 10 o'clock last night, we started um, unloading our refrigerator and trying to haul everything to a, a, a safe place to preserve our food. And uh, as soon as we got the very last uh, batch of food out of the refrigerator and the freezer, the power came back on <laughs> so we had to move it all back <laughs> uh, so that was our that was the end to our lord's day yesterday evening um, but we were thankful and um hey phil hi ann i appreciate you guys jumping in and joining in uh, i'm going to read from philippians chapter four this has been on my heart and my mind today since um since last night just thinking about how i responded to things um, but philippians four verse four says rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonless be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Hey, Sean, good to see you guys. Uh, we're looking at Philippians chapter 4 just briefly tonight. Um, good reminder, rejoice in the Lord always. Hey, there's Monica all the way from Argentina. Thank you for joining us. 
uh, we're, we're thinking about, you know, obviously, current circumstances and uh, this command in Philippians 4 that tells us to rejoice, and it is a command. Uh, how, how do you command someone to rejoice? <laughs> Uh, and and you know, not only does he say it once, but he says it twice. And it's good for us to remember that you know, the Apostle Paul, he's writing to the, the Philippian church. Uh, he's not. This is not a trite thing for him when he says rejoice. Uh, this is someone who knows what it is to suffer. He's writing this from prison. Uh, he's been arrested uh, and, 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 uh, for his service to the Lord. And so as he writes to rejoice, this is someone who writes from the perspective of, of, of suffering, and yet he says it's possible to do that. And so uh, we understand that joy for the Christian is something that is in spite of our circumstances. So in spite of our current um, current state, uh, being uh, self-isolating, and uh, in, in spite of the power outage yesterday, in spite of... Um, yeah, Man, the, just the, the things we see happening in our nation. Uh, I want to remind you tonight that joy goes beyond our circumstances and our situation. Joy is something that's found ultimately in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Now, the way in which we do that, the way in which we find that joy, and, and the way in which we find that peace uh, is found in verse 6. And, and so we're told, right, do not worry, right? Do not be anxious about anything. Now, those words, again, just like saying, commanding you to rejoice when he says, don't worry, don't worry about anything, um, means there are things that we can worry about. And that's certainly true right now. Uh, there's no shortage of things we can worry about ourselves. We can worry about our own uh, health. We can worry about the health of our loved ones. Uh, we can worry about our finances. But here, Paul says, do not be anxious. Do not worry about anything. Uh, man, that's a hard thing to hear, right? Uh, many of us are worriers. Some of you worry all the time. Uh, and, and you, <laughs> I think it was Mark Twain. He said, I, I, I'm an old man and, and um, I've worried about many things, most of which never happened. <laughs> And uh, that, that, that's what's so true about worry. Many times we, we worry about things that, um, that just aren't going to happen. And, 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 but here we see we're to rejoice in the Lord. We're to not be anxious about anything. How do we do that? Do not be anxious for anything but in everything by prayer and supplication. Make your request be made known to God. All right. So, so we go to him. We look to the Lord in prayer. And the thing that stood out to me, particularly as I thought about uh, circumstances, is um, he says, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving. So I, I wanted to ask you guys, and I, I know a lot of you are, are listening in, but what are some things that you can be thankful for right now? Uh, maybe some things that uh, right off the top of your head, uh, that in this current situation, current circumstance, you can say, you know what, I can thank the Lord for this. And uh, so that's what I've been doing today. Uh, just uh, <laughs> things didn't go the way I wanted, the way that I planned yesterday. And there was a moment, just a brief moment where I was, I was sulking a little bit. <laughs> and, and then I, I remembered, man, things can get so much worse. Uh, and, and a little bit of power out is not a big deal. Uh, day not going the way I planned it, not a big deal. <laughs> so I'm, I'm seeing some some answers here. Uh, my wife says electricity. Uh, amen. Right? <laughs> Many of you can can uh, raise your hand to that. The good weather. What a blessing uh, these last several days have been to have some sunshine and, and warmth to be able to go out in times when we're self-isolating to be able to go out and enjoy the outdoors. Uh, has been uh, just a tremendous blessing and help in these days. Um, so yes, understand that every good gift, every perfect gift comes from the Lord. Uh, so I'm seeing some extra time with family. Uh, I, I know many of you can relate to that right now. Uh, and uh, I suppose it goes both ways. Maybe some of you have had a little too much extra time with your family. <laughs> but uh, that's been a great blessing to my heart to be able to to spend that time together. Uh, we've been able to do some things that uh, we haven't normally been able to do. I see a lot of comments here for good health. Um, and and uh, let me see. I got more coming in. Thank you for contributing. This is greatly helpful. 
thankful to the Lord for giving me faith to know this storm will pass and he is in control. Amen. Right. Thank you, Ryan. Yes, we have rejoiced in that. So when he says rejoice in the Lord, that's what he's saying. Right? Remember him. He is in control. And, and so right now we can stop and be thankful that God is over this situation. He's over these circumstances and he's over our health and he's over our families. And so what can happen, and I don't want to be long tonight, but I wanted to give you opportunity just to, to give thanks. Uh, and, and I would encourage you to do that today, to just stop, to count your blessings and, and, and thank the Lord. Thank him for who he is. Thank him for what he's done. Thank him for the peace that he gives us that passes understanding. Um, it can be hard, right, not to worry. It can be hard to rejoice in times like this. But what we find is the way in which we do that is through prayer. Through, through going to him, and, and not only through prayer, but as we meditate and we dwell on who he is. Uh, verse 8 says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. I, it's hard, isn't it? You you watch the news, uh, you look at your your social media feeds, whether that's your Instagram or your Facebook and um, you know, your Twitter feed, and, and you've got all this negative news day in and day out. And so here we're told, think on these things, and and that's important for us right now. If we're gonna if we're gonna rejoice and we're gonna have peace, then we need to think about things that are good and pure, and true, and lovely. And so I appreciate some of you have been filling your feed with uh, some positive news, and not only positive news, but some just, um, you know, some some maybe pictures. I've seen people posting pictures, some beautiful scenery that they've seen, uh, trying to encourage, get, get some positive messages out on the Facebook page. Uh, there we've got somebody all the way from across the world. Uh, it's good to see you, Puyo. And I got some more thankfulness coming in. So thankful for modern technology like this. Praise the Lord. Uh, we're able to communicate. Tomorrow night, our small group is going to meet via Zoom. Uh, so we're going to try something there and see how that works. Uh, thankful that we have all we need and that God is taking care of us. Praise the Lord, right? He, Every good gift, every perfect gift, yes, comes from him, but he supplies all our needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. That's right here in Philippians 4, in verse 19. Uh, and somebody says, thankful many people are turning to God. Yes, people are looking, searching, seeking for answers right now. Um, thankful that I've drawn closer to God. Right now, um, man, there's so much we can be thankful for. But notice how God is using this. Uh, in the hearts and lives of people. And we want to give thanks for that. But one of the ways in which we can rejoice, one of the ways in which we can uh, have peace, is by thinking on good things. So yes, spend time in the Word of God. Uh, meditate on the truths of God, on who He is, and on what He has done. Rejoice in the Lord is key to this passage. Uh, so maybe... Maybe get off of your social media, stop checking the news so often, and get into the Word of God. We have a unique opportunity right now to spend some time with Him that we do not normally have. And so I wanted to take just a little bit of time tonight uh, to encourage my faith family. I appreciate all of you jumping on here and uh, contributing uh, to our conversation, uh, particularly as we think about things to be thankful for. I know that there's there's many needs right now, and I, I, I prefer, I, I'd love to spend some time praying over some specific needs, but I don't want to do that uh, on this forum. Uh, I think there's some privacy concerns and, and, and situations that I don't necessarily want to address in prayer here. But just know, uh, brothers and sisters, particularly my faith family right now, some of you are facing some serious situations, right? Life and death situations, and, and there are others of you who are uh, you're facing uh, hard days right now, and I want you to know that we are praying for you, praying for you specifically, and um, 
I'm going to pray generally as we close this time out together. Uh, so you join me as we pray, uh, and then I will uh, catch up with you here in a few days uh, with some more encouragement from the Word. So let's look to him. Uh, Father, we thank you for this day. Uh, Lord, your mercy is new every morning, and we look to you because you are where our help comes from. I thank you so much today for Jesus Christ, for the salvation that we have in him. Uh, Lord, we, we can only rejoice in all circumstances, and we can only give thanks in all circumstances because of Jesus. And so we look to you, and we ask, um, uh, Lord, we have so many things on our heart right now. We think about those uh, who are uh, health care workers uh, and, and working in so many different ways, and, and they're facing, um, Lord, questions about their own health, questions about their family health each time they come home. And Lord, we see in your passage here that you give a peace that passes understanding. And so I ask, Father, that you would grant, uh, grant peace to your people. Uh, Lord, may they look to you in these days. And Lord, although we've come and we've, we want to ask you, but Lord, more than anything, we want to give you thanks. Uh, Lord, yes, every good gift, every perfect gift comes from you. So we thank you for life. We thank you for health. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for electricity. We thank you for the technology. Uh, that we have. We thank you for the knowledge that you are in control, that you are sovereign, and these days will pass. And Lord, I pray that you would help us to use them well. Uh, help us to steward these days. We might draw closer to you. Uh, and Lord, I know it's difficult uh, not to have uh, that face-to-face -face communication, but we believe that you can use this to draw us closer to one another, uh, certainly closer to you as we've heard already. So we ask you to continue to work, continue to draw people to yourself, we thank you today uh, for this time that we can spend together. Uh, and Lord, we ask it all in Jesus' name and amen. Well, God bless, guys. Uh, have a good evening, and uh, I'll touch base with you here in a few days. Please continue to let us know if you have any needs. I appreciate those of you who joined in. If you weren't able to catch us on time, you can go back and listen to it, and I'll post it uh, to our YouTube channel as well. So thank you so much, and have a blessed day. Love you all. God bless.